Yeah, we have someone here, um, the Ecan Mole, who obviously has a, um, a really like strong like for the Tatanuas. Okay. Because the last question is, when did you realize that the Tatanua Forest Park is the best section of the Tatanua Trail? <laughs> I'm still waiting for that realization to hit me. <laughs> but there are several questions about the Tatanuas. Okay. So we'll talk about them a little bit. Um, what was your favorite above the bush line section of the Tatanua Forest Park? I know what yours was. Yeah. Do you? Yep. The second day. I was going to say the second views. day. Yeah. yeah. Second day. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. There's two nickels hut. Um, that yeah. day was great. I had signal. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, yeah. my mom, <laughs> call my, my friends. Um, and it was just beautiful. We yeah. got, and, the, and the clouds were there, but they were low and it just, yeah. it looked cool. It was pretty. The next mm. day, next day, going up to pretty. Mount Albert. Um, yeah, that was, or Mount Crawford. Yeah, that was. That would have been a beautiful day had we been on see anything. Yeah. 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 Um, did you enjoy more the tree roots or the rocks or the ceaseless undulations of the tracks in the Tatanuma <laughs> Forest Park? <laughs> Does this person like the Tatanuma? Yeah, I think yeah, this person has kind of a warped view yeah. of the Tatanuma. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's really passive aggressive, this. Yeah. Uh, I, I hate walking on the rocks. Yeah. Because I, 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 I snap my ankles a lot. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I hate that. I didn't mind the trees, although I did walk into a tree. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. Hurt. You know when you look at your feet, I walk straight into a tree. I'm and you about, nearly got it on camera. Yeah, I'm about two <laughs> inches shorter, I'm sure, because a number of times I've smacked my head and just, I can get my neck just crunching. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I prefer the forest. The forest was nice. What was your favorite hut in the Tatanula Forest Park? Oh, uh, the one after Nichols. Yeah, Y2YY. Yeah. Y2YY. Y2 yeah. That was really nice. That's a nice There's big five of us there. Yeah, yeah. That was super nice. What was your best memory of the Tatanula Forest Park? Definitely the strongest memory is the weather. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, the best memory. The best memory. That was just that hut. Yeah. Um, all the views. Um, but that hut, we were so wet and tired. And yeah. It was just a nice we hut. We had a fire in Got there. a fire yeah. going. I was stayed right next to the fire and I was all yeah. like, it was too hot. My best memory was when we hit that car park at the end and I knew we were done with the tachos. <laughs> we were, they were behind us. We were finished with them. I think we did it. We did it. We got out of the tachos. Easy. Not until we step on that car park. You tried to kill us, but you didn't. Yeah, it sure does. All right, ready? Nailed it. Oh, that was easy. That was easy. I could do it again. Yeah, yeah no big deal. <laughs> no big deal. I don't want to do that again. Uh, why was the Tatarua Forest Park the most memorable section of the Tatarua Trail? The weather. The weather. Yeah, that, that <laughs> day climbing over Mount Crawford. Yeah. Yeah, that was... That was rough. Yeah. Um, I still don't think it's ever going to become type two where it's like, oh, that was really a fun day, but but that's certainly going to stick in my mind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got to crawl up there, I think. Okay, that's it about the Tatanoos. Okay. Okay, we're done. They were yeah. good. They were all right. Yeah. Um, not as hard as the Richmonds. No. I no. struggled with Richmonds significantly. Yeah. And, and the Richmonds is just because every day it was like a thousand meters up and a thousand meters down. And, for and like eight days in a row. And you didn't have that nice foresty bit where you're not snapping your ankles. Yes. So yeah, many just rocks. rocks. And, it, and it rocks and roots and just death. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> all the time. I can't. I didn't look at the scenery because I was always yeah, looking down. Yeah. Nick Cox um, wants to know about quitting. From what you observed along the way, what were the main reasons for people not being able to complete it? Mm, uh, I think people just got tired. Yeah, I felt like a lot. We. we um, some people didn't quit. Some people just took the long breaks. Yeah. Um, 
The girls just finished. The girls just finished. That's yeah. what I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they, they, they left, is it Doe Forest? Yeah. And then they just finished. But um, I think a lot of it was injury. <laughs> injury. Foot or ankle related. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of injuries. Knees. Knees. Um, that well, was probably yeah. the biggest thing. Um, some people just ran out of time. Yeah. Um, some people just planned to only do part. Yeah. You know, just, I'm, I'm just going to do the North Island or just going to do South Island. But yeah, injury was... For the most unplanned quitting, that was probably the, the number one. Yeah. I think some people just got to the finish the North Island and it didn't fancy yeah. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the user ZI3, uh, do you have any idea what percentage of people start the through hike and don't complete it? And I have no idea. So I contacted George, um, hmm. I mean, um, Rob, sorry, and Rob and George, and, and asked Rob, if he had any idea, because I thought if anybody knew, Rob would. Oh, no. um, but he he doesn't even know. And he said that probably even um, the Teatro the Trust probably doesn't even know, because yeah. it's not really an official yeah. numbering of that. Um, so really had no idea. I guess from our pool of the 12 starters, yeah. five, four out of nine didn't finish. Yeah. Like me, Alex, you, Jan finished. Anthony, oh, no, they weren't part of the 12, October 12th. Yeah, Austrians and Germans. Yeah, so four four out of the nine. So almost half of yes. our group that started on October 12th. Oh, Kim, finish. so five out of nine yeah. didn't finish. Yeah, yeah, sorry, so Kim. Yeah. Sorry, Kim. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we missed you. We did miss you. We really did. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, if, you th if that's a sample. Yeah. It's about half. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a lot. That is. That is. Which... From what I understand about other big long through hikes, that's pretty standard. It might actually be a little bit higher than what some of those through hikes are. And, yeah. Uh, again, the same user wants to know what was your toughest day. I know what mine was. Toughest day. My worst day was definitely the, oh Richmond's. Oh, yeah, that they headed to. To head to Red Hills. Red Hills. That might have been it. I don't know why, because usually at the end of a hike, I feel good. Yeah. I think I was just so fed up at that point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were so angry that day. <sighs> I was angry with you because I'm you were so angry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I try not to be. I'm not yeah. an angry person. Yeah, I, I know, know I know, know but that was that was the only day I really remember. You really were just fed you up. You were done, man. You were done. I just hate it. Yeah. 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 My ankles were killing yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, and it was kind of the same thing all over again. Yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, incline with shop rocks. Yeah, yeah, oh, something new. <laughs> yeah, that sounds yeah. great. The thing, the, the thing with the, the Richards was that we nailed the rental. Yes. We absolutely smashed the rental. Yeah, that was, that was a piece of cake day. Yeah. It was supposed to be the hardest day. Yeah. And there were so many other days I felt were much harder than that day. Every day after that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just horrible. Yeah, uh, so I guess that would probably be mine. Yeah. yeah. Mine was the day after the, the um, top Timaru hut. Yeah. Sleeping in the windstorm that I got no sleep, but that was just because of weather related stuff. Yeah, that, that did you ever feel like quitting the trail? Um, I don't think seriously, I don't think seriously. No. Um, and if so, how did you get through that? Um, there, I the that hardest day, the day after Top Timaru Hut, when I was just so tired, and that's the day I almost fell into that hole in the river. That was the only day I thought, I don't know if I can finish this because mm -hmm. I was just feeling so terrible. It's like, am I going to feel better? But that night we had that junction hut with just the three of us, you, Bob, oh, and me. Yeah, that but the next day I felt fantastic because we had such a good night's sleep. Yeah. But that was the only day I felt like, I didn't feel like quitting, but I, I really wondered if I'd be able to finish it. Yeah. yeah. And then on the hard days, um, I would just remind myself, just look, you've done it so far. Just one more step gets you that much closer. Um, as uh, Rob and George have at their place, it's a straightforward walk from here. Straight and it wasn't always straightforward, but it was, you kept going straight forward and you would eventually get to the end. So that's kind of yeah. how it worked out. Yeah. Did you, but you never felt like quitting? I, it just really wasn't feasible either. Yeah. <laughs> I had to fly all the way out. I'm here now, I was going to do something, yeah. No, but I, no, I don't think so. I think I, I got, I questioned why am I doing this? Yeah. Mostly, uh, in places where it's just like horrible the whole time. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. It's a horrible path. And you're like, yeah. What was your favorite day? Favorite. No one asked that question. But what was your favorite day of the trail? Uh, I think it might be Wayu. Yeah. Yeah. I know it was just because like, it's so stressful build up. Like it wasn't, it wasn't a bad walk, but we were just worried about the weather the whole yeah. way. We were going slow, which always, yeah. we were going slow on purpose because right. we couldn't go over Blue Lake Hut. Yeah. 
onwards. It was so the we, weather. So we slowly chipped away at it. We'd had yeah. two rest days in St. Arnold. Yeah, yeah. We were just like yeah. getting grumpy and agitated. And then the yeah. weather just cleared. It was your birthday. Yeah. And it was just a beautiful, really nice day. Yeah. Complete 180. Yeah. And it was the, the view was probably my favorite. Yeah. Um, mine was Stag Saddle Day. Mm, All, okay. Same reason, just Stag Saddle, the highest point, but it was not a hard climb. No. But we had that cloud and fog the whole way up and then yeah. we got to the top it just cleared yeah. no wind we could see forever yeah and then uh what barb and i walking down that ridge that was just yeah. that, was, that was my favorite day I went down the road. yeah 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 that's all right yeah. you made your choice yeah <laughs> i wanted to follow your orange yeah. one yeah cool all right um we're gonna leave it there anything else 